welcome to our canuco here i am uh you can see i'm laying down some straw so today we're going to be talking about weeds <laughs> those pesky things that grow in between your plants and you need to get rid of them so weeds are very annoying um we have dandelion grass clover random things that grow in between our garden beds so you gotta be constantly on them I was listening to a podcast a while ago and this expert gardener was basically saying, you gotta do it every day. You know you have to. If you don't, like I have done in the past, a week later, you can't tell the difference between what you're growing and the weeds. The other thing is that weeds grow near uh, the roots of your plants. So they're actually start taking nutrients from your plants. You don't want that to happen. So this year we're trying something new. As you can tell, we're laying down straw in between the garden beds. The straw will help keep in moisture and keep the weeds at bay. You can do a couple of other things. You can lay down this like black cloth or fabric for gardeners and it does the same thing. It allows light to come through, but it kind of blocks it from the weeds. So there's there are a few options you can do. Um, I don't do any chemicals or anything like that. Um, what I tend to do is like on like a 15 minute break or something every day, I'll try to come out and I'll just try to pick the weeds out from the ground. Of course, you gotta get them out from the roots and you try to do them when they're small because as they get bigger, obviously they start choking your plants. So I'm gonna show you some of the weeds that we have growing around here. So here you have a couple of different things that grow. Um, I believe that is an acorn that started growing, so that's gonna be pulled out. Let me look over here. Like random pieces of grass in between. Oh, and here's a nice dandelion. Those tend to grow everywhere. And as I move over, you can see there are more dandelions there, so they need to be yanked up. A clarification, dandelions get a bad rap, but they really aren't a weed. And they're very important for bees and butterfly larvae for all of the pollinators. These are usually the first flowers that they have available to them. So if possible, don't yank your dandelions in the springtime, let the pollinators have their fill. The other thing is that dandelions themselves, the flowers, the leaves, are edible so you could have dandelion salad which is still very popular in certain places in the u.s you could even make dandelion wine from it what if something like this happens where you see that you have a row for example these are peppers and then you have things growing in between you have to get very familiar with your weeds you have to know what is a weed for example that's a blade of grass that i'm just gonna pick off by the root this is a weed also so you have to know what is a weed and what is not but what if you're not if you're not sure like let's say i wasn't sure if that was a weed or not first get familiar with your weeds know what their leaves look like get familiar with the leaves of your plants so for example here we are with a cucumber plant i know that their leaves look like this so i would not pick that so don't make a mistake like I've done in the past where I saw some cilantro growing I wasn't sure if it was cilantro or not and I yanked it out <laughs> so just get familiar with what your plants look like at every stage so whether they're new little buds or getting bigger you know what the leaves are supposed to look like and you know if it's an imposter I call them imposters or not because the imposters will grow right near where you planted the other thing is um, know where you planted. So if you know that you planted at the height of certain mounds and not on the sides, just know that um, the ones that are growing on the sides are not uh, the what you planted. If you see something growing and you think maybe I made a mistake, I also planted that, you can compare leaves. So right here I noticed that this guy is not growing in my raised bed area, um, but it does look like it's arugula leaf so I compared it to the arugula that is growing next to it for example that one and it is indeed arugula so I'm going to leave that guy right there same thing happened with my lettuce and I'll show you that now here's some lettuce and at first glance when I looked at it I was like oh no is this dandelion because it kind of has some of the ridges but then when I inspected the leaf and I compared it 
to the lettuce I'm growing, I realized, nope, that's my lettuce. I just kind of planted it by mistake on the sides here. So what I did before laying down the straw all around is that I went and I handpicked all of the weeds that I could find um, from besides the mounds and underneath as well. So I've done quite a bit since yesterday. That's all of the area that I've done so far with the straw. You can see all of the arugula, the spinach growing there, cucumber, summer squash, etc. on that side and peas are starting to bud over there. There's still a lot of straw that I need to lay down, but I just wanted to give you those few tips on weeds. So it's the last day of July and I've come back to do some weeding. Um, I have been a terrible gardener, I have not been keeping up. You can see some of these weeds are just absolutely ridiculous. Like there's one here is like gigantic. Um, I came back over the last few days and weeded this area so my, I can actually see my lettuce. I did a lot of picking in the last few uh, days so they look like they're not really growing a lot but it's because I picked a lot of my lettuce. Even gardeners with the best intentions at the beginning of the summer I was raring to go and I was like yay and I'm gonna be weeding every day. Yeah well you know. <laughs> Life gets in the way. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the straw helped keep some of it down, but eventually it all grows back. So just letting you know that it happens to the best of us. And now I have quite a bit ahead of me. Serves me right for not keeping up with the weeds. Uh, get familiar with the weeds that grow in your garden. Pick those out by hand. If you're not sure, leave it for a little bit, let it grow just a little bit longer, and then compare to the leaves of the things that you are growing so that you're not uh, yanking out your cilantro or other beautiful veggies by mistake. In the meantime, happy planting.